Hi, I'm Imogen. Today I went to my local garden centre because I needed some pots to do some repotting and while I was there I couldn't resist having a look around the houseplant sections. So I did a bit of filming while I was there just to show you what's in stock currently and what the prices are like in the UK post Brexit. So carry on watching if you'd like to see that. So the first place I went to was Ferndale Garden Centre. This big fiddly fig was £129.99 but it is two plants with lots of leaves and was in really good condition. Uh, next to that was a variety of dracaenas or dragon trees in different sizes. And then I think because Valentine's Day is coming up they had some flowering plants on display. This cute flamingo anthurium with pink flowers was $9.99. I also really liked this mini peace lily which is called Pearl Cupido and was only $2.99. I reckon this would do quite well in a terrarium especially because it's so small. Moving along there's lots more plants. So there was a tall philodendron of the variety Green Wonder, which I'd not heard of before, and that was $14.99. They also had this Neon Pothos, which was $6.99, and I think I would have been quite tempted by this if I didn't already have a cutting of it growing. The next section was lots of products to do with terrariums, so they had some plants, like this Peperomia Rocco Scuro, which looks like a trailing plant and was $6.99. They also had some sort of watering cans and other tools. Then I think this is a new section for Ferndale, but they had a few kind of bottle plants, like plants growing in water, which is a really nice way of seeing the roots. So they had this Syngonium and a couple of others. Then onto the terrariums, they had these adorable little bottles for $6.99. I'm not sure what sorts of plants they are in there. They also had other bottles with multiple plants in that were a bit more sort of designed. Then moving on, they had an offer on their flowering house plants where they had lots of orchids and flowering roses. Then I reached the cactus tables which run along the front of the building. So there's lots of different types of cacti and succulents, some which are in really cute pots like this little face one, as well as mixed trio pots available too. Next they had a stand of Hawaldia type cacti and these small Peperomia happy bean succulents which were $3.99 each. There was also a stand of baby Pilia peperomioides which were Four ninety nine each for a five and a half centimetre pot, which I think is quite expensive and you're probably better off getting a little one from someone else's mature plant when it puts off a little pot, but that's just my opinion. They also had some string of beads plants, which I was quite tempted by as I killed my last one, but they were quite big and I should probably start with a smaller one again first. They had more Echeveria succulents as well as holiday cacti and air plants which were $3.99 each. I'm not too familiar with air plants but they had these chunkier ones and different sizes so I think they're different varieties but I'm not completely sure. I also liked these metal stands which were really cute for displaying air plants if you're into them. Next up were some bonsai, again not something I'm too familiar with but then we got to my favourite part, which is a big stand full of small plants. So they had lithops for $2.99, as well as one lone bear paw cacti for $1.99. And then I think the plants at the back are Sotanthi, or at least something in the Maranta family. Then there was also Ginseng Ficus and Pilia. Uh, below are some small begonia plants and irisine. I think this is known as a blood leaf and it had bright pink stems and was $2.99 a pot whereas the begonia were $3.99. I think both are quite an affordable way of getting into these plants 
especially for begonia as they have a few different types such as sort of more textured ones various rex begonia varieties more silvery ones and also some of the bee leaf types for 2.99 At the back there were some smaller Monstera Adansonii for $4.99 and there was also one Alocasia Bambino Arrow which was $5.99 Then on the shelf below were Pilia Moon Valleys for $2.99 And I think more ginseng ficus. And I think this is a peperomia jelly, but that was $3.99. And finally, there was some little peperomia pixie for $2.99 too. And some biophytum mini trees as well. Moving around, there were some more flowering plants on display. There was also some trailing plants. I think this one was a Dishidia of some sort, but again, not completely sure. On this stand, there were some palms. Then these beautiful purple Talansia, which I think are part of the Bromeliad family. On the next stand, there's Kalankoe, Tradescantia and snake plants, then more Pilia, also some more Pilia Moon Valley, and then these little pots of succulents. Below were some aloes other bigger succulents and these sort of funky yellow Santeveria which were called Star Canary so yeah uh, lots more plants so there were some different orchids these lovely big palms bright syngoniums as well as ZZ plants then below they had some Scindapsus pictus silverian. So these bigger pots were $7.99. But they also had some smaller pots for $3.99. And all the plants were really nice and splashy with lots of silver on, which is I guess what you want from a silverian. Then moving on. There were some bigger Monstera Adansonii for $9.99 and I actually got one of these the last time that I went to Ferndale and it's growing really well. But there was also Enjoy Pothos for $7.99. Your sort of standard Golden Pothos for £6. And also Raphidophora Tetrasperma for $13.99 and some more silvery am. And then yeah just some more big plants. So I think this is an alocasia type with lovely large leaves as well as more palms and then this pinky coloured bromeliad for $12.99 and the final shelf had lots more of the bottled terrariums. I then went to a different garden centre which is just next door and this is called New Leaf and they have the best terracotta pots. So I got a few of those and they're like 35p for the smallest size. On the way to the tills was the houseplant section which was really quiet so ideal for filming. 
They do have less plants than Ferndale, but I still had these white veiny Fetonia for two forty nine. And again, lots of different begonias for the same price. They also had this plant on a moss pole. So it was labelled Philodendron Minima, but it looks like a Raphidophora tetrasperma to me. So I don't know if that's just another name for it. Uh, some Kalanchoe was, again, smaller pots of peace lilies in bloom for 2 99 as well as this larger one on the floor. And then there were some nice flowering plants, which I don't know the name of, as well as holiday cacti. And then finally, there was a beautiful shelf of different cacti and succulents. And that's all the footage. I didn't want to spend too long there, given I really just went in for pots. But I hope you still enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!